the first version was without uh, this introduction, but I this I, I was thinking I need a, a short part that will explain everything, no, very quickly. So I, I introduced this Leonardo da Vinci Sams in the beginning, uh, just uh, the day before the release, essentially. And um, well, my idea was uh, let's start with the big picture. So let's see all the data set in few seconds, and. Uh, I know, from some point of view, you can think, well, if you reveal everything in the beginning, after the audience will not follow the rest of the video. But I love start always with a big picture and after going detail, because I think the picture it will clarify the, like, uh, the content of something, like an abstract in the paper, and after you go deeply to see you know, the consequence of choosing this uh, type of data set to explore the history of uh, knowledge. Of, uh, so the concept is very simple. Let's see important people that really influence our um, life in terms of what we are thinking, what technology we are using, what paint we are like, uh, to see why we go to Louvre. And so all the reason that uh, cultural reason that change our sp spirit, if you want. And so um, this is a beautiful data set that comes from Google. Is a free based data in a database and um, uh, they talk about essentially European and American culture so there is a uh, uh, Frank Sinatra there is a uh, John Travolta there is a uh, uh, there are all the collection of uh, Italian Pope uh, but um, and uh, um, so, uh, Leonardo da Vinci and so on um, but there are no many important artists that come from Africa of Asia other area so but is enough uh, just to understand maybe European culture American culture so uh, this uh, um, uh, this is a, a way to transform uh, uh, these people in a, like a sensor to identify uh, why some city uh, becomes so huge. Uh, now we are looking like uh, uh, French with this big red dot is Paris and, uh, uh, and I think it's very clear Germany on the right uh, with uh, so many uh, red and blue dots. Uh, I was mean that uh, Paris uh, is like uh, the La Mecca for all the people that are looking for art and culture in, uh, in, fr in French. But in, in, uh, in Germany uh, was, uh, mm, the, si the cultural situation was different. It, if he was a poet, a painter, um, many positions in many uh, cities was available for you to really express yourself. So uh, was no um, this a hub uh, a phenomena. And this is, I think, something that emerged very easily uh, from this video, understanding in different country um, if uh, there is some uh, city hub or not, or the, is there a really uh, important cultural center or not. And after this, this um, jump to the new continent. So it's clear that this comes in the middle of the video. It's clear that the sound in some way changed, become a little bit more uh, intense and uh, this bit, because uh, this, uh, this is a big uh, event in our history, in, in, in history of uh, uh, European culture, that now become European-American culture. And uh, uh, slowly, there are uh, important people, important writers that decide to, uh, not to have a new life in US. So uh, in the New England, uh, <laughs> so it's clear from the name New England, there is a, a there are city like Cambridge, they just are like a copy and paste in the beginning of the city from uh, England. So mm, the, the name of the street, the name of the place. Um, so was a f for sure, was a, this first time was a force of a, a nostalgic behavior, for sure. And so you see, all at the beginning all these red dots that now become blue dots and this is a very important event in a sense uh, now uh, uh, there are a new age uh, the future writer that really will change america the future songwriter the future architect the politician um, military people that really will uh, change the history of us and now are born in us and you see slowly there is uh, this uh, conquest uh, from uh, uh, from European to all the American country. So from the one side there is a drama in this picture, so the uh, Indian culture disappear. And from the other side there is uh, this interest in, uh, uh, for example, new highlight that now emerged. So you see all these sequence of that, they move fast, crazy fast uh, to uh, um, Los Angeles. And why there are so many people that move? Because now there is a, a train available, airplane available, car available. So it's more easy to move from one coast to another. So in the same times, uh, all these uh, dots that move from one city to another represent the evolution of the technical evolution uh, in the history. 
Uh, and now a little zoom. So Los Angeles is no more a place where to go. Uh, the Florida, and it sounds a little bit strange. Florida is a place where there are museums and it's important for what cultural point of view. You know, in, in reality, um, some way, um, the meaning of this uh, red dot represent different things. In the beginning, you know, it really represent important city where to go. Uh, because uh, mm, uh, you want to go to Rome to become famous, to Paris to become famous. But uh, uh, after the invention of train and airplane, uh, the red dots have a little bit different meaning because maybe you want to die where you, where is your mom, no? Where is a good weather? Where is a, uh, where you can have a very uh, um, quiet uh, uh, no, life uh, now that you are uh, very old. So uh, this is the reason why uh, area like Florida or in Europe, uh, area like uh, the south of French become so popular. Um, now I think uh, uh, when you watch this video, you just y you see the evolution of uh, uh, the cultural. Uh, in uh, Europe and in America, and especially, but in the same times you see the the way that uh, uh, innovation in technique, uh, so you no know, moving from horse to airplane to you no know, car and and train, uh, change uh, our uh, the distance and the way that we can select now where we want to die. Um, so. Uh, I, um, Five minutes is very short time to really describe so many intense events that happen. So you see uh, something, but uh, probably 0.1% uh, of all the story there is inside to this data set. And would be a very uh, challenging and time consuming to try to go deep inside to this uh, video and really discover why something happened. In the beginning, it's very clear when there is this picture and this big overview. So essentially you see, um, it's the only time the where you see clearly all the data set, except at the end, but in the end is very quickly, um, that emerge clearly this, uh, uh, this point here in the middle. And there is nothing there. Uh, there is no island, there is nothing. So uh, many friends ask me, oh, oh, is a mistake in the data set? What's going on? No, it's not a mistake. It's, a, our, it's our decision, essentially, to find, uh, in a poetic way, a location to identify of the people that die in this challenge to move from Europe to US. To America, so there are so many uh, artists that unfortunately they never uh, realized the dream to see America, and they died the during the trip, and they try so the location of course is just o ocean, no Atlantic or, or whatever, um, um, Pacific or Atlantic. So there are uh, two dots that represent this uh, sad event of. Uh, so we. We decided to put all together in the same dot, in the same location, because I think it's a, a poetic way to remember all this person.